Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hoy and you're watching Possible Now. And today, guys, I'm going to guide you about that how you can fix the all kind of crashes and errors in Fortnite Chapter Six Season Three. And this video is going to be really interesting, guys. So just watch the video till the end. And if you're new in this channel, kindly like this video, share it to your friends, and subscribe the channel for more content. And without any waste of time, let's start the video. So, guys, before starting the video, let me introduce you the best tool for fixing ping and input lag issues in your games. Give up store it's simple and easy to use you can try it out with a three days free trial all you need to do is add your game click once and you're good to go check out the link in the description to get started so guys first of all what we're gonna do is we need to perform some epic games launcher settings so you need to open the epic games launcher and go to the library find your game and click on uh, three dots first we need to click on manage and because we need to verify the game file so click on verify and in case your game files are corrupted or missing then this step will fix your issue and the second thing is we need to down below in the launch option you need to mark the option first and here you need to type the command like dash d3d11 and uh, after it's done close this and again you need to click on three dots and this time you need to click on option settings so in the option setting you need to unmark some settings like if you not play save the world you need to unmark the option first high resolution texture you need to unmark this also because it's specially for high end pc users and if you have a low end pc you need to unmark this option free download stream assets you need to unmark as well and if the directx 12 version available here like a, if the dx12 option available here you need to unmark this also because we need to run our game on dx11 or performance mode so after that simply click on apply and the next thing is we need to do is we need to open the like nvidia app and update the graphics driver first for amd user guys you need to open your amd redon software and update your drivers my drivers are up to date so the next thing go to your graphic settings in your like nvidia or amd app and here we need to like apply some settings select your game and in the settings option you need to uh if you play your game on your low and pc and you face crashes and errors then what you're gonna do is you need to uh, uh low your settings like post processing set to low resolution shadows quality texture uh, all these settings uh, set on low or medium uh, if you face uh, like uh, crashes in your game so you can also pause the video and uh, apply these same settings in your uh, nvidia or amd app so after it's done guys the next thing is we need to do is we need to download the uh, download and install the latest directx and visual retribution files in our system so for this you need to visit the official website of DirectX and download the latest DirectX in your system. So here is the setups. I already downloaded the setup and here accept the agreement. Click to next. Install the Bing bar. It's optional so it's up to you. Click to next and wait for it. Maybe it takes some time so don't be panic in just after a few minutes. It's done. Click to finish. Get back and now move to the visual retribution folder. So same as DirectX you need to install all download all visual files in the official website and here is the batch file run this batch file and it will automatically install all the visual files in your system you just need to click to yes click to ok and whether of the steps it will automatically perform uh, in your system so just follow the screen instruction and if you need this channel guys kind of like this video share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and uh, just few minutes guys it will be done that's it now the pack steps are complete and now move to the next method and now we need to free the cpu memory from the task manager so open the task manager and first you need to like click on uh, cpu memory and check your cpu memory because sometimes due to heavy load on your cpu uh, the game crashes and you face different kind of errors so we need to find some kind of epic applications or programs that takes the cpu memory so in my case like i'm recording this video so that's why my cpu space is a little bit high 
so you need to simply find some kind of applications or program and simply remove uh, these kind of programs and once your cpu space is free launch your game and check your problem is resolved or not and the next method is similar to this one like we need to close some background applications so for this you need to go to your research bar in here you need to type settings go to your settings and go to the privacy section here in general there are four options one two three four turn off all of them down below and go to your background apps and turn off all the background apps running in your background my background apps are already turned off and get back and i move to the gaming section here and you know uh, in the game bar option you need to turn it off capture setting turn it off and only enable your game mode if you have a low end pc and in the right hand side click on graphics settings and click on browse and add your fortnite winshipping.exe file here click on your game click to option click on high performance and save it and move to the next method guys and now we need to remove some junk or bad files in our system so for this you need to press window key plus r and here we need to type the like command the first one is like a uh, temp simple temp temp press ok control a select all and delete this fall skip the step again press window key plus r and this time you need to type like percentage temp temp again percentage press ok control a select all and delete all these files and it will take some time so you just need to wait for it and once you delete these files from here you need to remove these files also from the recycle bin here is the recycle bin remove these files also from here and once it's complete guys the next and the important step is we need to uh, visit the official Microsoft store and here we need to research the PC manager in the research bar and here is the uh, Microsoft PC manager it's a great free like tool uh, to boost your PC performance so simply uh, download it it's free and once it's downloaded I already downloaded it and here you need to open your PC manager and click on post and it will also uh, gives you extra storage in your drive and also boost your PC performance click on boost and it will take just few seconds and you're good to go so guys uh, the last thing is we need to restart the PC and before launching the game you need to open the task manager and just one more time you need to check your CPU memory from here and uh, if the CPU memory is like uh, under the 50% you're good to go launch your game and now your problem will be fixed and now you will and in your game settings guys uh, you need to set your ren rendering mode on performance mode or DX11 mod and you're good to go guys now now play your game and now you you will see a huge fps boost difference in your game and now you can play your game without any uh, like crash or error uh, facing it and if you found this video helpful guys kind of like this video share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and we will meet in the next one until then peace out